Hey, what's up guys? My name is Alex. I graduated from Stanford in math computer science before working as a quantitative trader on Wall Street and I always love to in all my free time bet on sports and what we are going to talk about is how to beat the sports books, how to make money. Um, so the first thing we'll do is we're on odds jam is I should note you can customize all your settings. You want email notifications. Do you want to see player props? Do you want to see alternate markets? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. You can, you can save changes. Do you want to show Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book in the world, as a reference point of what's a good bet? And then you can also filter out sports books you don't use. You can change your email, whatever, right? Um, so now let's talk, and I know I've said this in other videos, but it's really important, is what is arbitrage? Arbitrage is making risk-free money in sports betting, yes, it's possible, by placing two equal and opposite bets on sports books. So for example, over 8.5 runs, under 8.5 runs. One of those things has to happen, under 8.5 or over 8.5. So if the odds line up between two different bookmakers in a way that you can make a risk-free profit, you can just place bets on both sides and make risk-free money. So that's what this arbitrage calculator right here shows you, is it shows you, okay, if you had Pinnacle, if you had BetMGM Sportsbook, you know, you could bet whatever your bankroll is, maybe it's 250, maybe you wanna put 300 on it, and here's your risk-free profit. We've explained this in other videos. The key to sports betting is realizing you're gonna make 1.5%, 2% a day on a few thousand dollars, whatever, a $500, whatever it is, depending on your bankroll. The goal is to make those returns and then watch your returns compound and compound and compound. Um, odds are always moving. We've talked about that as well. Sports is a market. Odds can move at any time. Player gets injured, odds are going to start to move. So you also should know how to move quickly. Um, anyways, so arbitrage, right? If we have a Bovada account and we have a bad MGM account, we can make a risk-free 1.16% return tonight, which is great. We can use the arbitrage calculator to figure out our stakes. Um, but there are some other important concepts we'll, we'll talk about, which are basically which sports books are sharp. So the sharpest sports books in the world are Bookmaker Sportsbook and Pinnacle Sportsbook. Okay, Bookmaker and Pinnacle are known to be the sharpest sports books in the world, which means their odds are the most accurate. Their odds indicate win probabilities best. Um, so here we see if we had a BetMGM account and we also had a Pinnacle account, we could make a risk-free 2% on our money by betting under eight runs. But the point is when arbitrage exists, there has to be a profitable betting opportunity. Either BetMGM has to be wrong or Pinnacle has to be wrong. By the way, this odds jam, it just essentially, this column just weights Pinnacle and Bookmaker. Pinnacle and Bookmaker, again, the two sharpest sports books in the world. So odds jam odds are very valuable because we weight the two books, Pinnacle and Bookmaker, Bookmaker, to give you an indication of what the odds should be for a given game. So we can hit the refresh button. We can see opportunities. So this bet on BetMGM, minus 139 under eight in the Phillies game is a profitable bet. So we're in BetMGM. We can we can go to MLB. Also, I guess MGM's pretty cool. They give you a $10 free bet as long as you bet like $50 or something every week. So I also have a free bet to use, which we can talk about a little later in the video. So I'll go to the Phillies game. I'll go to under eight runs, which is, where are you? under eight runs and it's minus one, you know, this is in decimal format, European odds. I like looking at those sometimes. Also some other sites have have, have um, decimal odds. And we see that this is, you know, minus 139 odds. So I'll try to bet on it. I'll be limited to only a certain stake because I'm limited on this sports book. And we'll see that they give me 122.38 on this bet. So that's a profitable bet. I got a profitable bet down. I also have this free bet to use, so I can just kind of use it on whatever I want. What I can actually do is go to the low holds page and I can look for a good free betting opportunity by clicking this button, low hold filter, sort by conversion percentage, bet MGM. With a free bet, we've talked about this in other videos, you don't get back your principal. So when you place a $10 free bet at plus 100 odds, you're only getting back $10 the profit if the bet wins, whereas if you place that bet with cash, you get your $10 stake back and the $10 free bet. So we see that, you know, this Rowdy Tellez guy to hit a home run, he's plus 600 on BetMGM. 
He's only minus 625 on Twin Spires, so maybe maybe that's a good one to look at. So we can kind of search around for a good line. Maybe this guy to hit a home run, Jared Walsh. We can take a look at this. And you just want to make sure you're getting some good value on what you end up betting. So we can see BetMGM is giving you plus 425. They're giving you the best odds on Jared Walsh to hit a home run. You know, Caesars is only giving you plus 350. DraftKings plus 300, and you can kind of look for a good opportunity. So what game was this in? This is in the Rangers game, so player to hit a home run. So maybe that's something we want to bet. I'll go back and I'll try to find another one, but I think I'm fine with that. Good enough value. It's only a $10 free bet. Not too much to think about. So we can go to the Rangers game. Again, knowing how to navigate these sites quickly is important. So you want to hit here. You want to go to player props quickly, and then you want to go to Walsh. You can see, you know, plus 425 odds, 5.25 in decimal format, plus 425 in American format. So we'll place our free bet on that because it had good value. Again, that's the power of line shopping is you're able to compare odds between a bunch of different bookmakers. Here we see FanDuel's giving you plus 150 on the Orioles. Maybe that's a good bet to look at. Look at the value you're getting. You know, to Caesars only giving you plus 130 and they're giving you minus 150 on the Royals. Like thinking about sports betting in your sports betting game, like a trader and looking for value and value odds is how you make money, right? So we see here this minus 139, it's an arb to pinnacle, the sharpest sports book in the world. Clearly some value on this minus 139. That's a profitable bet. This first half total runs also a profitable bet, which is kind of what we explain on our positive expected value page. So if you go here, it will show you all line discrepancies in the expected profit margin. So here, you know, we can see the 8.58% is on the top. So Twin Spires is 8.58% profitable to Pinnacle. Pinnacle is the only one with a market. There's no bookmaker market. So bookmaker and Pinnacle, two sharpest sportsbooks in the world. You have to know who they are. And what you can see is plus 235 is an 8.5% uh, 8.58% profit margin to Pinnacle's no vague odds, right? So no vague odds. Um, what was Pinnacle's market? Go back to the plus EV page quickly just to see the market plus 194 minus 244. So essentially if Pinnacle had no vague, if they didn't charge a spread, the fair odds for the game, the fair odds, no vague fair odds. If you, you know, want to read this, you can read that. Um, would be plus 208. So Pinnacle is implying, their market is implying that Akron, I believe it was, should be roughly plus 208 odds, and we're getting plus 235 on Twin Spires. So there's clearly some value in this specific bet. Um, we can see in this Brewers Phillies game, the under seven runs is 5.96% EV, right? 5.96% expected profit margin to the sharpest sportsbook in the world. It's a direct arb to Pinnacle. One of these has to be wrong. Pinnacle has to be wrong or BetMGM has to be wrong. Pinnacle is the sharpest sportsbook in the world. So like this bet's absolutely, you know, profitable. You can see Pinnacle has the under seven runs actually favored, right? Minus 108 versus over seven is minus 104. And you're getting plus 110 on something that should be favored. That's, that's pretty incredible. And then odds jam odds, shows you that bookmaker, the other sharp sports book is in line. So what we can do is go to the Brewers Phillies game because that's another good bet to place. And then we can go to under seven runs. Where are you? Totals, under seven runs, plus 110 odds. I'll take that, that's a good bet. And we'll see how much they give me. And again, it's, all mathematics, this bet should be favored over 50% to happen, and you're getting plus 110 odds. So it gave me $107, right? It gave me $107 on this with an expected profit margin of 5.96%, which means I basically just earn $7 in expected value, right? 5.96% times 1.7, that's the expected return my bet has. And if we go to this no vig calculator again, Pinnacle was minus 108 minus 104. So the sharpest sportsbook in the world 
thinks that you know this should be minus that under seven run should be minus 101.85 that is what their market is implying if there was no vig if you took a midpoint and we're getting plus 110 which is pretty incredible value because it's supposed to be roughly minus 102 and we're getting plus 110 odds which are way better so this is kind of how people use the odds jam positive expected value page is they go through they look for value in lines bets that they want to place and then they place those bets so here we see you know toledo versus notre dame what we can do is click on this game we can see where bookmaker is so we can see that you know toledo is an arb to pinnacle bookmaker doesn't even go down that far so bookmaker you know looks like it agrees they agree on the minus 18 they have plus 114 pinnacle has has plus 117 toledo plus 18 minus 140 on bookmaker minus 144 on pinnacle so what we're debating betting is you know this toledo plus 18.5 minus 118 it's an arb to pinnacle sharpest sports book in the world you can't have risk-free money in any financial market especially sports betting one of these books has to be wrong Pinnacle is the sharpest sports book in the world, which means this is a positive expected value bet. So that's another bet I'd place. Um, and again, if you want to track your bets, we track your bets. We show you your exact profit and loss. You can put in how much you bet on it. We'll track your closing line value, your CLV. It's incredibly useful. Um, so that's actually a great bet to place. So what I can do is go to college football. You can see I'm in Twin Spires, which is the book we just saw there. And then we can go to the Toledo game. Where are you? We can search for it quickly. So Toledo plus 18.5 minus 118. These both of these bets were arbs to pinnacle, mathematically profitable. Let's play some both. Again, I'm limited on Twin Spires, up too much money, so these sports books limit you. But we can still get about $200 of action down on, or over 200 of doll, two over $200 of action down at a at over a five percent expected profit margin which means we're making roughly ten dollars in expected value which is pretty incredible and that's really how you think about sports betting in a mathematical data-driven way you look at you look for line discrepancies you look for value you shouldn't go into a bet by thinking i have to bet this specific team that's the wrong way to look at it you're supposed to go into bets thinking okay you know where is the value in looking through it and here we see in the georgia versus uab game UAB plus 28 is minus 114 on Twin Spires and Unibet. In Pinnacle, the sharpest sportsbook in the world, has it minus 148. So that's, you know, that's a profitable bet to place. That is a bet that you may want action on and you should want action on. 6.56% EV. So what I can do is try to find this game as well. I think I may have already bet it. So if we go to the Georgia game, we can pull it up. Yeah, we can see I already bet it. Maybe it'll let me bet it again. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, it's not going to let me bet it again. So a lot of times when you're limited, it'll take your bet and, it'll, and it will tell you your bet is waiting for approval and then they'll reject it. So we can see if they take it, maybe I'll get lucky. We can see it's awaiting approval right here. Awaiting approval, I tried to bet 555. They probably won't take it, but we'll see. Um... And then you just kind of look for good betting opportunities, right? You just hit the refresh button. Odds are constantly moving. If there's an ARB, one sportsbook has to be wrong. And you can use data from sharp sportsbooks like Pinnacle, Bookmaker, Odds Jam Odds, Weights, Pinnacle Odds, and Bookmaker Odds together. So you don't have to do the mathematics to, sh to, to help you find good betting opportunities, right? All of these sportsbooks, we've talked about this before. They just have so much data on their sites. It's absolutely crazy. Like even just in player props, every player to hit a home run. This is one specific game, Blue Jays, Yankees, and this is just one sports book in just one market. And you can kind of go through and just see how much data is offered on these sports books. You're really not gonna be able to find value and find line discrepancies manually. You need software too, right? You need to be able to kind of go through in a mathematical way once you identify good bets and get in on them before the odds move because when good bets exist, there's other smart people looking to bet them. You wanna to try to move fast. So all three of these are absolutely good bets. This is a good bet. You know, arbs to pinnacle. Arb to pinnacle means one sportsbook has to be wrong. Pinnacle is the sharpest bookmaker in the world. This is something you'd want to play. This is something you'd want to play. And if you want more action, most people you know, would get more money on it. I'm just limited. Um, 
Or, you know, if you didn't want to and you have a Pinnacle account and you have a BetMGM account, you could just take your risk-free 2%. If you're like, oh, I'm going out tonight, I don't want to be worried about having action on the game, you could bet 250 on Pinnacle, 364 on under eight runs on BetMGM, and just treat sports like an interest account. Make a risk-free 1255, and you can kind of tailor this to your specific bankroll. Sometimes ARBs will be much better, sometimes they'll be worse. You can turn player props on to see if that brings new opportunities in if you're looking to make risk-free money and we see it does, right? Like right here, this guy to get a hit, Omar Navarez, 1.42% return. So maybe that's something you wanna bet if you have those accounts. And you can just kind of go through as odds are constantly shifting around and you're essentially day trading sports. This is what sharp sports betting is. This is what every sharp sports better does. You identify line discrepancies, you identify value in odds, and then you place bets on those specific um, on those specific odds. So you can kind of go through, see it's a pretty slow day. There's not any college football. There's not much, um, there's not much of anything really going on. NFL hasn't started until Thursday. And you can just kind of go through and look for profitable betting opportunities, whether that's on the positive expected value page, the middles page, or the arbitrage page, which is which is all pretty fun. So we see not a ton out there right now. This looks good. Florida Atlantic minus 6 point, minus 108, 3.28% um, EV. It's almost an arb to bookmaker, right? and Pinnacle has it minus 128. Pinnacle has this minus 128, minus 108 is great value. So that will be the final bet we place in this video. Is Florida Atlantic, where are you? Again, you wanna move quick to get in on the good ones. So we'll go to Florida Atlantic and we'll bet both the point spreads and it'll probably give me roughly $100 on each. So we see it gives me 106 bucks here, you know? And then it gives me on the minus 6.5, it'll give me another 146. So we just collected like, you know, $7 in EV, whatever it is. And that's how you do it, right? If you have a bunch of bets that are mathematically profitable, 10 bets a day that are mathematically profitable, $50 each, $250 each, $1,000 each, whatever it is, let's say at the end of the day, you're like, wow, I have $5,000 bet, all on bets that are mathematically profitable by an average of 4%. That means you made, you know, you made roughly $200 in expected value, which is pretty incredible. And that's how you should be thinking about your bets because once you place a bunch of bets that are mathematically profitable, the numbers, you know, they just kind of work themselves out to, um, to make you money. Like if you're placing bets that are mathematically profitable, you will make money in the long run. Pinnacle and Bookmaker are the two sharpest sports books in the world. So betting, you know, when there's ARBs to Pinnacle and Bookmaker or bets that are plus EV to both Pinnacle and Bookmaker, two sharpest sports books in the world, like you do have the mathematical edge. You are essentially finding bets where the casino, the sports book, no longer has the edge. You have the edge, right? Like this minus 108, it should be like minus 128 you're getting great value on minus 108, you are flipping the mathematical edge, the mathematical profit margin back in your favor in placing a ton of bets like these, 10 bets a day, 20 bets a day, you're just gonna see, you know, you'll have some down days, but you're mainly gonna have up days and you're gonna notice you see your sports betting winnings increasing pretty quickly. Um, there's a ton of information online about why Pinnacle and Bookmaker are so sharp and why their odds you know, have a strong relationship with the actual win probability of a wager. But, you know, kind of the simple way to think about it is Pinnacle and Bookmaker are the two sharpest sports books in the world, two smartest. It's like having two friends, right, who are really, really smart and they're like, this should be minus 128 odds and you're able to get it minus 108 odds. There's just clear value. That's how I kind of like to think about it is when you have an arbitrage bet, you know that one sports book has to be wrong. In any market, there can't be an opportunity to make risk-free money. It doesn't matter which market you're talking about, it's not supposed to happen, right? So if you can make risk-free money, one of these books has to be wrong, and it's essentially Pinnacle thinks this should be minus 172, Bet MGM thinks it should be minus 139, Pinnacle's the smartest in the world, one of these guys has to be wrong, Bet MGM or Pinnacle, so you place your bet on Bet MGM. And that is how you make money sports betting. You look for value in lines and you use sharp sports books, such as Pinnacle and Bookmaker, as a point 
you know, to reference what the odds should be, what the odds should be. And you place bets that are mathematically profitable that way. Or, you know, as I kind of mentioned, you can you can make risk free returns of 2%, 3% a day, just arbing these bookmakers, just placing two equal and opposite bets on sports books. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you have any questions, you can feel free to email us, uh, reach out to us anytime. And we we look forward to to having you at Odd Jam. Thanks so much for your time.